So my Zenith presentation was originally going to be done in 3D um, in Maya and ZBrush, but um, due to the stay-at-home uh, lockdown situation, it proved to be too difficult for me to rig or animate properly um, to what I wanted to do. So I kind of scrapped that and opted to do 2D instead. Um, I decided to emulate three of my like favorite comic books that I read um, at some point in my life. Um, on two of them, I emulated their style and I also like included the characters that were already present in the story. Um, since character design, I didn't really have any ideas and um, I more just wanted to like make something that I felt could go in like one of their comic books. Um, and then one of them, it's just the style, not the narrative. Um, so one of the comic books um, that I chose to emulate was Dogbird's Clues for the Clueless. Um, it's just a book about um, etiquette and courtesy. Um, it looks really average and basic, and it is, um, which kind of makes it funny to me. Every person is really average looking. There are four panels per lesson, um, if you want to call it that, or like chapter. Um, and I don't know, it, it entertained me when I read it. So it's one of the things I wanted to emulate. And then <clears throat> Far Side Gallery, um, completely done in grayscale. Um, it features a lot of hatching and cross hatching. There's usually one image and one sent one or two sentences or a quote, and it gives the reader context to what they're looking at. And what's kind of funny about Far Side is that all the people in it are pretty obese, or like at least drawn to look really obese, which I think is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, that's another. That's the one where I just went for stylistic. I didn't try to like fit it in the book, although I guess it could, but everything in this book's pretty random. And then Calvin and Hobbes was the last comic book uh, choice for me. And that's basically what I grew, grew up on. I read lots of Calvin and Hobbes. Um, and it was just like, an important part of my childhood to me, so I wanted to incorporate that. <clears throat> so this is actually my cover. It kind of, it's, it, it's not trying to emulate one of those three designs. It, it's more of like a, I don't want to say superhero type cover, but I tried to make something that I thought looked visually ap appealing and uh, also looks like something someone would want to read and all of these stories um like the three pages they all have something to do with the current outbreak since why not use the current situation as material so um the first page is my emulation of dogbert's clues for the clueless um I did use the dog in it. Um, again, I wasn't trying to come up with new characters. I was just trying to make something that I feel like could be in the book itself. Um, and I did quarantine etiquette, which I thought was pretty appropriate considering the situation. Um, so I'd, it was interesting making this one. It was relatively easy to make this one. It's only pretty basic characters, black and white, um, nothing too fancy here. And then for my far side emulation, um, I thought it would be funny to draw President Trump um, obese in the far side fashion um, with a bottle of Lysol. 
and his quote on injecting Lysol inside of people to <laughs> clean their body of bacteria, which I think is hilarious. So I wanted to include that. Um, and then the third one, which is Calvin and Hobbes. Um, I'm a little disappointed on the result of this one. I tried using watercolor as the color and it often mixed with the black like pen lines and caused it to be uneven and smudgy in places. Um, I like the narrative, but I kind of wish now that I just did colored pencil or digitally added color. Um, so I guess I can do that if I decide to do this again sometime. Um, my reflection, I was pretty happy with the end result. I wouldn't say I'm like thrilled because I wanted to do 3D and wasn't able to. So I'm not like necessarily like overjoyed about my Zenith, but I'm content with what I made, except for maybe the Calvin and Hobbes comic book, which I wish I could redo over. Um, lesson learned not to combine watercolor with any felt pen of any kind, even after it dries. And yeah, that's pretty much it.